Hey everybody, this is Ben Sherman with Secara Labs. And uh, this year at our hackathon, just a week from now, I'm gonna be leading a new group called for NextFlow and Plugins with my colleague, Jordi Dupont. Um, and I wanted to share just a quick video with you guys to uh, basically go over some of the stuff that will, will be available to work on. So this group is gonna cover both the NextFlow code base and NextFlow documentation, you can see down here. But then also um, a growing ecosystem of NextFlow plugins, um, which basically allow NextFlow to integrate with all sorts of different technologies without being tied to the NextFlow release cycle, right? One of the biggest ones that we're working on right now is NFProv, originally developed actually at last year's hackathon um, we've since taken it over and we've added some major improvements to it recently, um, notably the biocompute object format. Uh, but then there, there's also more stuff we want to do, particularly RO crates, which is probably what I'm going to be working on, um, but a couple other small things. Um, we've also got the Quilt plugin. So our friends at Quilt Data, also they developed this plugin around the same time last year. And they've just recently, I know this issue says open here, but um, they actually just recently updated their plugin to be fully native to Java. So you don't have to install the Quilt Python package anymore. You can just use this plugin and it works. Um, I think they have some other things that aren't here yet that they want to work on. Um, so I'm sure they'll be available for that. And there's just a slew of other plugins. Um, we spun off the weblog feature into its own plugin so that it can be sort of independent. And there's a couple minor things that can be worked on there. Um, we're also working on test integration, so the task execution service. This is part of the GA4GH uh, standard. Um, so we're trying to update that to the latest spec, which will address some limitations that NextFlow has had with tests in the past. Um, and then, yeah, a few issues here with documentation. Of course, if you have other ideas about ways to improve the documentation, of course, we're open to suggestions. And I tried to find um, sort of a smattering of issues that uh, they're not necessarily easy issues, but I would say that they're all pretty well de well defined in terms of what the problem and the solution is. Um, and so these are all some great ones to get started. Um, and so, yeah, if you have some experience writing Groovy or Java, um, which you probably will if you've written some NextFlow pipelines um, and you want to learn a bit more about the NextFlow code base itself, um, Jordy and I will be here working on something on here. I'm, I'm actually excited to see Jordy's sort of a wizard in this space. I'm sort of excited to see what he ends up working on, but, um, we'll be working on this stuff. And, uh, one more thing I'll mention here is that if you want to get started, the best thing I would recommend is to check out the latest version of the docs. I don't know if the next flow docs are going to be updated to this by the time that we, uh, get to the summit. Uh, but you can, if nothing else, you can clone the docs yourself. So clone the NextFlow repo to your machine and you can build the docs locally and then, and then serve them. I've got it right here. This is, so this is what the, the latest NextFlow docs looks like. You see, we've got some nice green in some sections here, but the main thing I wanted to highlight was that we have this new contributing section, which has some information on things like, so if you want to use IntelliJ, like the IDE setup, also just some more general information about how the code base is organized. We've got information about like Groovy software dependencies, um, how to build NextFlow locally and test it, run tests. Um, and then I've got these, uh, these class diagrams here. So for some of the major packages, um, we've got tried to build some class diagrams just to give you a basic guide, like sort of like a high level overview of the code base, which can maybe help you figure out like, okay, I'm going to work on this particular feature in the next flow code base. So I'm going to go find this group of classes, right? Um, of course, anybody who wants to get involved and help out with this stuff, um, I can help you sort of pinpoint, you know, if there's something you want to work on, I can probably point you to the two or three classes that you need to look at to get started with that. All right, so I think that's everything. So with all that, thanks for watching and looking forward to seeing you all at the summit. Bye-bye.